Yeah, hold on. You know that I'd be first, right? <laughs> Hello, Grindle. Yeah. How are you? How are you? I'm okay, except for the freaking tail. Oh. Ah, that's better. Okay. Good morning. Good uh, morning. How are you? We are good. How are you? I'm hanging in there, but I'm good, actually, really. Oh, yeah, there's a lot going on down here. You guys have been through a, a crap load of stuff recently. So everywhere I look, I see like somebody's having an emotional breakdown or something. So I I came to say it's all going to be over pretty soon. Not for everybody, but for most people. Of course, some people have their own nervous breakdowns without the earth having all the motion and movement and stuff. They just break down, period. So, But right now, things are evening out. The earth energies are still disruptive in some places. I think the problem, this is my own thought process, but the problem is, the Earth energy has been so messed up for so long, it's causing a lot of difficulties. So be assured that things are calming down. I, I see an end to a lot of crap, if for lack of a better word. So I'm lo looking forward to seeing some less hysterical serenities scenery when I come down and look. <coughs> so, any questions? Yeah, in reference to what you were just saying, um, yeah. how is it that what's going on with the Earth affects the humans? What is the well, mechanics of that? Well, even though it is good energy, you're used to a different kind of energy. So when things change drastically, which they have done, you've noticed all the energies of the different full moons this year. This year, the full moons have been very, very powerful. And the, the solstice, the summer solstice, uh, is going to be absolutely, terrifically powerful as well because it, it's just in alignment with so many different things. But yes, your bodies just can't take Take the change, even though it might be a good change or a positive change, sometimes the body doesn't look at change that way because of your belief systems. See, your bodies are changing and you go, uh-oh, I must be getting sick. And so you bring in a negative thought process on it instead of a positive process. Does that make sense to you? Yes. And so therefore, it's like, you take this positive thing and you make it a nervous Nelly thing. So, um, and so that may, that puts a negative spin on it a little bit. But some of you have grasped it in the way that it should be grasped, and that's fine. But remember, a change is going to be good. This change is going to be really good. So get over yourselves. <laughs> Okay, so for for those that are still going through it, what should yeah, they, I'm telling you, they're it, thinking? Calm down, take a deep breath. It's almost over. Get off the roller coaster and uh, enjoy your life a little more. Cause you know, being nervous and being negative about these changes is not going to do any good. Cause they're going to happen anyway, and they're going to be positive, and you're going to find that they're going to be. A great, wonderful thing for the world. Ask Mother Earth. She will tell you. But she'll giggle the whole time, so it's annoying. But um, I still love her. Okay, thank you. Uh, Sheer? Hey, Grendel. How are you? Ah, uh, Sheer, how are you? I'm doing very well. Yeah, how are your uh, sons? They have some uh, rituals to go through. Yeah, yeah, we did all that. Yeah, that was a 
If you want to know, I think that some of these rituals are sort of getting a little flaky at times. So, I mean, they're they're good in the sense that they make aware some of the history in the past. But all this dancing and mumbo jumbo stuff, you know, you just want to go. All right, let's cut to the chase here. So, um, yeah, I'm I'm a more direct kind of person, I guess. I see. Uh, um... Well, tomorrow I'm going to have a meeting with Jim, and I was wondering if you're free for like a 20 minutes talk or something like that. Yeah, well, yeah, sure, I have time for you. Oh, we have a lot to speak. You know, I'll look at the time and make sure that there's nothing in my way, so that's good. No? Ah. <laughs> Great. Thank you very, very much. You're welcome. Oh, yeah. and say the... Panama uh, files that were exposed, does it have something to do with disclosure or Illuminati in some uh, sense? What was that? I didn't get the question exactly. The Panama files. Oh, 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 oh. Remember, when they release this stuff or find it, some of this stuff has been changed. Even when they file it, they change some things before they put it in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why? Because they know that one day it's going to be found. And they want to look as good as possible. So, uh, just keep that in mind. <laughs> okay. Yeah, where's his water? Christine? Greetings, Grendel. Oh. Yeah, Christine, how are you? I'm doing fine, thank you. <laughs> yeah, good. Can I ask you some health questions? Certainly. I'm big on health. That's why I drink a lot of water. <laughs> <sighs> I'd like to know, um, I had a biopsy just recently. Um, can you tell me if it's benign one moment please okay. I'd have to go there and look at the sample but I'm gonna look in you to see if there's any anything that you should worry about where was it taken from so I can go right to the place right breast ah very good oh, uh, yeah. Let me get there. Hold on. It's hard to tell from this distance, but it does not look... Had you noticed any growth in it? I don't think so. No. Nope. I think it's benign. That is my... I can't really see it that closely, but I don't see that there's anything growing there, so that's a good thing. Good. Can you tell me also why I have high blood pressure when I don't eat anything that... Uh... It's natural physiology. Sometimes it's inherited from the lineage. Certain chemicals get off balance in the system and therefore it causes the high blood pressure. And it's sort of natural for some people. Other people are... it's food related. Other people it's stress related. There's a, a number of different things that can cause high blood pressure. But yours isn't that high, is it? According to high. the doctor, um, she, she believes it's high, enough to threaten me with chemicals, and I don't want to use chemicals. I see, but it's not high. She's threatening, but she hasn't used them yet. Okay. Um, we'll have to talk about that some other time. I could go into a 20-minute speech about that. Uh, but don't worry about it. I can. There are other ways. Good. And my last question: Are my chakras clear? Actually, all but the heart chakra, and actually the root chakra needs cleared a little too. Okay. The heart chakra needs a little clearing. Okay. That's. 
from work-related incidences. Uh, or, I work with uh, animals, yes. Yes. And other than that, you're pretty good. <laughs> Thank you. All righty then. Um, Grindle. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Liney has a question. She she said if if you have anything to say about the presidency over here, the election. Oh, don't get me started on that. <laughs> They're all buffoons. But there's some less buffoony than others. But they're all, well, I can't say they're not qualified. Some of them are not. But some of them are qualified. But their thought processes are, like, so far removed from one another. It's like, oh, my God. They should get together and have a little caucus and get their every all their crap on the same page. Gee, but um, yeah, there. I have a, a little optimism for your choices. <laughs> but do you think it has been set up by the universe? By yeah, design? this are, okay. it's a time for change, and this will definitely do it. You have four unusual people. You, I mean, p four people that if any of them get elected, the chances of them being assassinated are very high. Is And that's sad. That's very sad. But yes. think about it. They would assassinate a woman because they're prejudiced. They would assassinate a Jewish person because they're prejudiced. They would assassinate... A buffoon because they're prejudiced and they would assassinate somebody that preaches like Jimmy Swagger because they're president. Yeah, well, that's all I have to say about that. You make your own choices. Ow. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I guess no predictions. Are you kidding me? It's like... <laughs> I'm predicting tornadoes in the south. <laughs> okay. Does anyone in the room with Jim have a question? Yeah, there he is. Are you talking about the event horizon? Come over closer. I don't think they can hear you. Are you talking about the event horizon? Uh, only partially. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Christine is... Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, sorry. Go ahead. Continue. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Christine said, so, so do we need to worry about the vice presidents? Uh, no, not really. Who's going to be looking at the vice president once you get one of those buffoons in there? <laughs> okay. <laughs> On a lighter note, why don't you tell us what you've been up to? We haven't spoken to you in a long time. I did rituals with my family just recently, and that was what I've been doing. We've been going through our... <clears throat> see, the adolescence in the reptilian world is a very big thing when you become a man or a woman, as you would call it, in our species, then you go through a very long ritual that lasts several weeks, and they you bring the understanding of many different things. This is when we have the talk. This is when we have the singularity with the, the parents. You each... You spend days with your mother, you spend days with your father, you spend time with your grandparents, you spend some time learning from a, your godparents. Every reptilian has someone assigned to give information about the family after this period of time, and they're selected at birth. And so 
when this time comes, if they're still alive, they give a talk about family values and what the family history is. <laughs> because if it comes from outside the family, there's a different perspective. Do you understand? Uh, it might be a little colored or per with with a family member telling the history, it might be a little slanted. But when you see it from somebody else's eyes that is not part of the family, then it's all pretty much true to life. So there's many things that that happen during this two to three week period of time, depending on how long thing, uh, certain things last. But it, it's planned out for two weeks and two days in your time period. But that was the thing that uh, was happening with me. Very nice. That, that sounds <clears throat> yeah, you're actually paying attention to what's going on with the children. You have to because you learn a lot during that two weeks, believe me. Of course, our weeks are different than yours, but still. You learn a lot because your kids have to be close, you know? And so you, after a while, you start hearing things that they're saying that perhaps you weren't uh, thinking that you would hear. Yeah. Yeah. I I had that experience there any more recently. Questions? What? Yes, there was one. Um, Sheer asked, "What about Bernie Sanders? What is your What is your opinion of him?" Ah, uh, I already said that I think that there's some things that are that I shouldn't say. <laughs> I don't hate any of the candidates. Let's put it that way. But I don't support any of them either. But I thank God I'm not voting. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Dan has. I a really question. can't tell you what I think of him because oh. it would be prejudice. It would prejudice some thought processes, and I would rather keep my opinions of each one, uh, my expressed deep opinions of each one, separate, so that no one is affected. They just warned me about that. They said, oh, don't go in there and say what you said you to us. Because that's not healthy. <laughs> but I don't think he's a bad man. I will say that. Everyone has their best intentions except for one. One has an alternate agenda that is not been exposed, but that's all right. Things will happen as they happen. Ah, is there any more questions? Hello, Grindle. How are you? Hello. This is Dan. I have a question. <laughs> though. Last week it was explained to us that many of us became ill because we lost our ground to Gaia and that that energy would yeah. be working out, but many people are still complaining about this kind of respiratory and breathing issues and stuff. Yeah. Will this energy be straightening out for them soon? Is there any wisdom that you can impart on this oh, yeah. to help comfort everybody? Yeah, like I said, it's almost done. Hang in there. Get a more positive attitude right now. I know it's hard because when you're sick, positivity is out the window. But... If you would bring in some positivity, these things would get going pretty fast. And the earth energies are about done. By the middle of June, they'll be completely done. So you just have these last couple little month and a half, whatever, two months to work with. So it's you've already been going through it long enough. So, But it's very much more calm than it was. So it's a lot calmer, a lot. So everybody just needs to be patient with their illness. It's not their fault. It's yeah, not it's something they've clear. done. It's, it's, gonna clear up. it's just a planetary adjustment, and we're adjusting to it. That's all It's everywhere, yes. It's everywhere. All right, thank you, Grim. It'll be fine. 
Okay, Grindel, I believe no one else has a question at the All moment. right, then I can get out of here and have a wonderful day, everybody. You too, and thank you for coming. We love you. Oh, yeah, you. yeah, you couldn't stop me. Nah. Namaste. Nah, oh, I'm going to stay, yeah. All right. <laughs> oh, all right, I'll bring somebody else. There's a bunch out there, yeah. Okay, thank you. thank you. Have a good day. Ouch. Damn. Ah, you what the mm.